Hey guys, what's up? It's Microwave. Last week I brought you five tips that might have helped you become a better player in Rainbow Six Siege. Well this week I have five more for you in a second of a series, tips for the casual player. So let's check it out. Alright, so tip number five is for the operators Mute and Bandit. At the start of the phase, you generally place your gadgets on top of the stairs to stop the drones from getting any type of information on how you're defending. Well, after you set up the battery or jammer, you should shoot out the handrails on the stairs. This increases the difficulty exponentially for the attacking team. They will have to find another route to the ejected, therefore giving you a few more precious seconds on setting up your defenses without having to play cat and mouse with drones. While we're in house, I wanted to show you guys a quick little murder hole that I discovered. To the top right of the plug in, if you melee two or three times, you can see the clubhouse perfectly fine. You can get easy headshots if they're repelling or inside the clubhouse. Also, if you run outside, you can see here that they can't see me at all if I'm laying down. It's a perfect position to be able to take out anybody that goes into the hallway, the treehouse, or repels down. As you can see, the exit opening is very, very small, so there's a small chance that he'll be able to see you. All right, so tip number four requires some trigger discipline. When you put an enemy into the down but not out position, they become immune for a few seconds and act like a bullet sponge. As soon as you see that the enemy's down, you should stop firing and re-aim for the head. This way, you can quickly finish them off while keeping some rounds in your clip in case another enemy tries to come to their rescue. I don't know how many times I've seen players empty a full clip into somebody that was down, only to be killed by the opposing side because they were switching to their secondary weapon. Alright, tip 3. Everyone knows that shotguns are in a weird place right now. Sometimes you'll get a one-shot kill, while other times you can shoot somebody three to four times to only put them in the down but not out position. But did you know aiming down the sights gives you a tighter grouping for your pellets? As you can see in the video, I fired two rounds, one from the hip and one while aiming. You can see a clear difference between the two. Since this is a realistic game, I'm sure this happens in the real world. Of course a shotgun is great for rounding corners and I don't recommend aiming down the sights for CQB situations. However, if your opponent has some range on you, it's best to aim down the sights and hope for that lucky headshot. Tip number two, let's talk about smoke. Smoke grenades are client based. What this means is that what you see isn't necessarily what other people see. So the grenades are telling your computer that the smoke is in a certain location, but your computer isn't matching what the server thinks. Therefore, you may think you're in cover of smoke, but some people might see you clear as day. This could possibly lead you to a very embarrassing kill cam. Chances are you'll just see yourself randomly crouching, trying to be sneaky through a smoke cloud, and yet you're right in front of it and the smoke's behind you. So when using smoke grenades or the smoke gadget, be very careful when trying to conceal yourself. Chances are you're not actually doing it. So now we're going to get into tip number one. Tip number one is the placement of the camera. Now the camera is actually placed on the player's chest. Now what this means is that wherever you're looking, the head is above you. So if you're on a stairwell and you're trying to peek above you, your head will be shown clear as day like I'm getting ready to show you. Notice, I can see him so easily, but he can't see me at all. The same exact thing happens while you're repelling. To stop this, you need to do it pretty quick and toggle to the left and right, instead of slowly dropping down or slowly climbing the stairs. All right, that's all I have for you guys this week. I really appreciate the subs and comments everyone left. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. And again, if you really liked it and want to stay current with all my videos, tap the subscribe button. Every comment and feedback means a lot to me. I also wanted to add that I do this to help out the community. I want to help out every new person and every casual player get better so they can enjoy the game like I do. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.